Victoria is a significant step closer to becoming the first state to legalise voluntary euthanasia. Lower House MPs have voted in favour of the Dying with Dignity bill after an all-night sitting. But the bill faces one last hurdle when it heads to Victoria's upper house in a fortnight. The result of the division is eyes 47, noes 37. Therefore, the motion is agreed to. After a marathon debate that lasted more than 24 hours, Victoria's lower house has passed groundbreaking euthanasia laws after a conscience vote. My colleagues and I are very proud, very proud that we have taken a very big step towards giving many, many Victorians the dignity and the compassion that they have been denied for far too long. Debate on the bill to give terminally ill people the option to seek a medically assisted death began on Tuesday with detailed discussions starting on Thursday, leaving MPs sleepless and working until after 11 this morning. MPs had different tactics to get through the night. Some drank, others slept, while some remained in the chamber. The gruelling session gave opponents plenty of time to stress their concerns. If the, if the government doesn't do anything about this, it is very clear that Victoria will become a suicide destination or a suicide tourism destination. Not one of the more than 100 amendments passed. We wanted to make amendments to make a bad bill better and we didn't achieve that, so we'll see what happens in the upper house. The issue also inflamed internal tensions on both sides, with Health Minister Jill Hennessy accidentally sending a crude text to Chief Labor euthanasia opponent James Molino. The vote was a conscience matter. 38 Labor MPs said yes, as did four Liberals, one National, two Greens and two Independents. 24 Liberals voted no, along with six Nationals, six Labor MPs and one Independent. The vote in the Upper House is going to be very tight and incredibly tense. Supporters of the bill had been confident of a smooth vote, but are now growing more cautious. No, I think it's probably closer up there than people expect. The bill will be debated in the Upper House in a fortnight. Oh, just weary and tight. Yeah, so uh, we're looking forward to a little bit of a nap. And if it passes, assisted dying would become legal in 2019. Richard Willingham, ABC News, Melbourne.